Understandably, meditation is often associated with unrighteousness. However, the practice of meditation with the Holy Scriptures can prove beneficial by helping one to learn scriptures, as well as build one's faith by reciting or meditating on a scripture or scriptures to allow it to permeate into your spirit and renew your mind. Here are a few scriptures that I have been meditating on. I pray that it will be a blessing to you as well. Shalom. 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 21 and 24. Neliah came unto all the people and said, How long ought ye between two opinions? If Yahweh be Elohim, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of Yahweh. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be Elohim. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 27 and 29. And it came to pass at noon that Eliah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awaked. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets, till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass, when midday was past, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice, nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 36-39 through 39. And it came to pass, at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that Eliah the prophet came near and said, Yahweh Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art Elohim in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art Yahweh Elohim, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of Yahweh fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, Yahweh, he is Elohim. Yahweh, he is Elohim. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 26, 45 through 51, and verse 54. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? Then David said to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will Yahweh deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcass of the hosts of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that Yahweh saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is Yahweh's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose, and came, and drew nigh to meet David, that David hastened and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put his armor in his tent. Deuteronomy chapter 26 verses 15 through 19. Look down from thy holy habitation from heaven, and bless thy people, Israel, and the land which thou hast given us. And thou swearest unto thy fathers, 
a land that floweth with milk and honey. This day Yahweh thy Elohim have commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments. Thou shalt therefore keep and do them with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Thou hast avouched Yahweh this day to be thy Elohim, and to walk in his ways, and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments, and to hearken unto his voice. And Yahweh has avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou should shouldest keep all his commandments, and to make thee high above all nations which he hath made, in praise and in name and in honor, and that thou mayest be an holy people unto Yahweh thy Elohim, as he hath spoken. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verses 4 through 6. Save when there shall be no poor among you, for Yahweh shall greatly bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy Elohim, to observe to do all these commandments which I command thee this day. For Yahweh thy Elohim blesseth thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. Proverbs 18, verses 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Proverbs chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. But Yahweh pondereth the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to Yahweh than sacrifice. And high look in a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Matthew chapter 5, verses 16 through 19. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever thereof shall break one of these least commandments, and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 and 2. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Elohim out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation 21, verses 9 through 12, and verse 27. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from Elohim. Having the glory of Elohim, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they that which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation 22, verses 12 through 16, 20 and 21. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, 
and the bright and morning star. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Elohim shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. I pray this was a blessing to you. I would like to encourage you to play this video as many times as you need to in order to get the word saturated into your spirit and into your heart. I also would encourage you to create your own videos of this sort of nature so that you can play them throughout your day, whether driving to work, shopping in the grocery store, or lying in bed before falling asleep at night. Once again, thank you for watching, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.